We're here with Corsair Head Ice Hockey Coach Eric Nowak. Prior to Saturday night's MassCAC Championship matchup with Plymouth State on the road, Coach, congratulations on advancing to your second championship game in three years. Let's talk about the Tuesday night semifinal win at Fitchburg State, if we can, for a minute. you got some big goals. Obviously, Steve Leonard has really been your key scorer all year long. He set the tone in the first period, but you got a lot of contributions all around. That had to be a very satisfying win after losing the championship game two years ago up there. Yeah, it's hard to, to walk into the Wallace Civic Center and not think about two years ago in the MASCAC finals. Uh, I know our upperclassmen think a lot about it. So it was it was nice to go in there against a well-coached hockey team and get a win, I think. Played really well defensively, weathered the storm in the first period. I think we outshot him in the second. Um, just needed to kind of settle down a little bit. They had a really good crowd there. Uh, Davidson had another great game in net. So. You know, pretty happy with the result. Um, certainly happy to, to be in the MASCAC finals tomorrow. Well, when you get a goal from someone who had one career goal going into the playoffs, and that's Patrick Gren, one of your senior defensemen, it's probably the goal of the night. The third goal was uh, just he roofed it right side, just a beautiful shot against one of the best goalies in the region in Brian McGrath. So when you're getting goals like that from, uh, from your veteran lineup, that certainly makes a big difference as well. Yeah, I mean, it was a goal scorer's goal. I mean, he kind of went coast to coast, and it was sort of a broken play in front of our net. It could have resulted in, in, in a goal for them and made it 2-1, and instead, uh, Davidson makes a great stop. Uh, Twanley comes down, lays a big hit, and, and Ren kind of just went all the way down the ice by himself on a one-on-one, -on -one, um, and, and almost went far down the top shelf. And uh, Certainly a nice goal, and when you get a 3 nothing lead with just uh, a few minutes left in the game, uh, that pretty much seals it. You've talked about Daniel Davidson a couple of times. He's been on another stratosphere in the last three weeks. Five shutouts, uh, four, uh, four of his last starts, certainly. Uh, he has the fourth longest scoreless streak in NCAA Division III history right now, almost 268 minutes. So he has been on another, uh, another plane for you. What has been the difference in his development from the start of the year to where he is now? I think he just needed to get some confidence. He came out of the Ontario Junior Hockey League after spending three years in the BC League. And, you know, no matter what junior league you come out of, it's going to be a bit of a step up and, and it's higher stakes and a little bit more pressure. So I think he needed a little bit of time to get to get comfortable. And, you know, there's no teams that are left in the country right now that don't have outstanding goaltenders playing for them. And if you're going to win a championship, your goalie has to be a big piece of that, just like two years ago in Fitchburg. Um, McGrath had a great game and they ended up winning. So, um, Plymouth's got a terrific goalie. I think every team left in their conference final in the NCAA has, has great goalies. So um, it's just one piece that, that goes into winning a championship or playing for a championship. And, and if we didn't have that, uh, we probably wouldn't be where we are. Well, let's talk about tomorrow night's opponent, Plymouth State, the regular season champion. Dropped uh, three game, all three regular season games, but the two here at Hetland were both uh, very close, two to one and three to one. Kind of got away from you in the, in the game in January at Plymouth. But certainly you can hold your own against the Panthers. What's going to be the key tomorrow night to bring home that MASCAC trophy? I just think staying positive. It'll be a sellout crowd uh, at Hanaway, and, and uh, emotions will be high. And, and as it is with every college championship, you know, uh, you have to kind of uh, weather the storm a little bit, especially from the home team, and, and like we did at Fitchburg. So, you know, if we be physical and, uh, you know, get pucks deep and, and do simple things, get pucks on that as much as we can, play as hard as we can in the D zone, stay out of the box, uh, kind of block out the fan noise, uh, I think we'll do well. Well, Coach, hopefully we're having this conversation on Monday afternoon talking about who your NCAA opponent is. So congratulations and best of luck tomorrow. Thanks, Jim.